It's July 1st. There he is, look at him go. Welcome to Watcher Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our ability. If you'd uh, like to get at us, swing by We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, We Are Watcher, Patreon.com slash Watcher, Facebook.com slash Watcher, Entertainment, YouTube.com slash Watcher. Ooh, hop on over. Also, YouTube.com slash Watcher Podcasts. By the way, today we're talking who's most likely to. Stay tuned for that at the very end of the video. But before then, uh, we're going to make sure that we enter, open the door, look around, see the frost. Chill zone. Oh, oh yeah. Chilly. That's cold where we right are. Now that you say it, it is a little cold in here. Hey. Oh, you're <laughs> doing, hey, cold. doing a Jack hey. Torrance thing. <laughs> July. Can you guys believe it? Holy moly. Wow. What a summer it's been. What a what a summer. This year sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the floor again. I don't give a shit. I'm on the floor again. Floor episode part two, baby. Yeah, whatever. I'm having fun with it. I'm going to have a, a, a mint. That's what I'm going to do right now. Gonna... Okay. Chill me out. This is a while where I got really into spearmint. I was always a winter green guy myself when it came I to was for a long time, and then I got into spearmint uh, in my early 20s. Love to talk about gum. I just like the typical Altoids. It just occurred to Love me, what happens if my camera runs out of, of footage here? Huh? Yeah, we're back. Should yeah. we start yeah. over or should we? No, Cause no, no. Now, Shane, <laughs> no. why don't you explain why there's a mic in front of your face right now? Well. We, we stopped and re-rolled because Ryan had some issues with his mm -hmm. recording device and Ryan took so long it to fix it. took a whole three minutes, it, yeah. My microphone ran out of batteries. Now I'm using this. Sounds like yeah, you should have got some batteries ahead of time. <laughs> we were in the chill zone. Uh, I think we were having a thrilling conversation about gum. Our equipment just gave up on us. <laughs> yeah, that could be. It was like, fuck <laughs> this. Is this better? Where should this? It doesn't. I want it. Okay. Would you get your shit together? All right, it's getting too toasty for the chill zone. So yeah, that's enough chill zone. We yeah. have um, exciting things here. Episode three of Are You Scared? is coming out this week. That's an entire pilot season. Can you believe oh, you're it? Right, that's you're right, crazy. Yeah. What a journey it's been. I'm excited for you guys to see the third one. Which was episode two? My final call as a police dispatcher has scarred me. A really, uh, really zingy title on that one. We could talk about that one. That story frightened the hell out of me. I do not like home invasion stories. But it was and clearly- that one, was, uh, that one ratcheted up. I thought halfway through the video, I stumbled upon what was the obvious ending to that story, if it was gonna be like a good ghost story. Yeah. And uh, boy, the real story didn't quite measure up to my genius take on it, but. It was a, you know, yeah. I enjoyed the twist. Hell of a twist. You're not sure where it's going. Well, I, I, I enjoyed the ending. I thought it was quite satisfying. And it's actually spiritually related to the, the episode this week. Which oh, yes. is, uh, okay. for lack of a better word, horrifying. Yeah, this so, week's is a real, this one's maybe the scariest out of all three of them. And it also Ooh. has my favorite call out for our brand that did not uh, <laughs> sponsor right. the episode. That's we paid true. them no money and we insisted on uh, repeating their, not only their name, but their slogan yes. for a majority of the episode. Definitely one of our zanier episodes. Certainly. What a weird word, by the way, zany. Zany, I know. Zany. I'm a zany like guy, Zane what Malik. can I say? <laughs> Didn't I say that in an episode? Was it in Weird Wonderful when I was telling you I wasn't going to go all zany shany on you and make a bad soda pop for you? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exactly like what you said in the episode. I love how before you were like, wasn't that in like an episode where I say and <laughs> now who quote was it that said the that line funny exactly thing. as you said it in the video? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to questions, guys. We got questions. some Q&As questions. to line up here. Questions. Q&As from you, questions. the viewer. First question comes from Madeline Fiedler. Question, are you planning to continue all the pilot series or are you going to change them for the next season? Also, I can't remember if you talked about this or not, but is Steven also a character like Shane and Ryan or is Steven Steven? I'll answer the second question first. Yeah, I'm a character. He is, yes. Steven is a character. Yeah, what's, what's your actual name, Steven? Uh, that's something that uh, I, I can't reveal, unfortunately, because of privacy concerns. You know, the- Privacy concerns? The Amazon Echo and the Google Homes are watching me, so I can't uh, see uh, that. Well, but yes, but you are a classically trained thespian. If, if we can maybe step out of our roles for a second yeah, here. Yeah, just okay, for a right, second. Okay, hold up. 
Okay. Brian, feel free to chime in here. Working with the actor who plays Stephen Lim has been an eye-opening experience. It's always fun to take someone under your wing and show them the tricks of the trade, show them the ropes, as it were. I, I got to say, Brad, when he did come to the stage, his thirst for knowledge was apparent just from the first viewing, just from the first read-through. I knew that I knew that we had a student of the craft here. We had someone who was very, very uh, committed to his uh, just uh, just being as an artist. And, uh, and yet he had so much to learn. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't, I'm not actually Steven, but I am Steven. I played, I played the character Steven. I have done that for seven years now. But we should probably answer this question about the pilot series, because people don't yes. really know what's going on at Watcher, well, even though yes. we've explained it before. We're back into yes. it. Back to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm great to be here. <laughs> so, um, yes, the whole intention of that initial round of, of uh, rollouts was to see what people liked. We were gonna make more of that. Obviously, quarantine threw mm -hmm. a funny little wrench into the gears and has affected, you know, some of the production on things. Uh, so there is a portion of a season that is going to be landing of a new show. And then some other series we are working on ways to bring them back in a way yeah. that is, uh, you know, responsible to produce. So yeah, there's definitely gonna be some returning things. But we are also going to continue doing pilots for new shows. You'll probably hear more about those fairly soon. Next question comes from CEO of Sleepy. If you were any species other than human, including mythical ones, what would you be and why? Did I don't I tweet say. enough to answer a lot of questions. I apologize. Sometimes I'll get on a real tear and answer answer a bunch of questions on Twitter. Oh, you tear through those questions, Shane, especially during these are two podcasts. Yeah, yeah, I do it while, <laughs> exclusively while we, we record our podcast. I guess a mouse. I'm a mouse. We've talked yeah. about this. I'd love to be. I'd love to be able to crawl behind walls and and sleep in a slipper. Oh, I know what I would be. Hmm. Be a dolphin. I almost said dolphin. To be able to go fearlessly travel the world underwater. That'd be nice. And also just to have like smooth, wet, rubbery skin. That's cool too. Oh, and also high pitched streaks like. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you ever seen them when they make those? Oh, when they go the like. Dolphins are kind of assholes, by the way, though. Yeah, we know. There's that. Yeah. We know. Um, all, I, all, by I, the way, all animals are. No, not dogs. Dogs are great. Maybe a, a nice little fuzzy corgi. Ooh, actually, what if I was a chunky little beaver? And I was no, out there fun. building my little dams. <laughs> yeah. Just with my big old teeth, just, just going to it. Just going to town, making my little dam. Beaver dams always do look very cozy and comfortable. I would love nothing more than to live in one of those. I'd love a pet beaver. I saw this video of this lady who had a pet beaver and he was just walking around her house making little piles of socks because he was building dams. No, what, are you serious? Yeah, it's Have great. you ever seen a cross section What's of a beaver dam? What's chewing at her doors though? I have not, I've not seen a cross section. It's really fascinating. They, it's like they go under and then there's like a, almost like a pool inside that they come out of on a dry land. It's mm -hmm. really, it's fascinating. So like, it's nice, like open concept. Basically, yeah. Bath. Sophia Holland, rank breakfast foods, pancakes, waffles, French toast. Oh, I got Ooh. a sneeze coming. That's not me ranking them. That's just me reading the question. This is a, a no brainer for me. Waffles at the top, huge mm -hmm. gap in between that and pancakes and then French toast below that. Mm. <laughs> sometimes French toast is really good. Oh, bless so you, I Christ. might put that above pancakes here and there, but waffles oh. to just take the cake and run with it for me. I love waffles. It goes waffle, then French toast, then pancake. Yeah, I, guess, yeah, I agree, agree with that, that as well. French toast well. is bread and bread is good. But that's also why I like waffles because they're crispy. They, you know, you get the crispy divots. I like that they have little pockets for my syrup and butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh God, French toast is so good. Waffles are better, yeah. but French toast, it's its waffles, French toast, pancakes. Then that's the list. I will say though, when you're craving French toast, its there's not much that could uh, fulfill that craving. Thank you for your questions. We'll be answering more questions on Watcher Weekly Plus or on patreon.com slash watcher. Watcher segment for the day. Well, it is the first time we've repeated and we're doing it because the first one was so popular. People asked us to bring it back. Who's most likely to watch tradition? But now, the things that we're most likely to do are submitted by you. So we're gonna read these out and we're going to show which one we think is most likely to do what was We got said. our little signs. So these are all oh. submitted by you guys at our C-Tab and also Patreon, so thank you so much. Clarissa Rojas says, 
who's most likely to forget or be late to the Watcher Zoom meetings? I have my answer. I have my answer as well. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow, I put me. Yeah, it's definitely Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's on there too. I've, I tend to be three to five minutes late to a lot of meetings. That is true. But this also says forget. Well, Forget yes, that that's exist. a whole, yeah. I guess that's another, if if we're looking at that side of the equation, then yes, I would put Ryan in there. Yeah, I would agree with that as well. A nice display of humility there where Shane and I put ourselves and Steven puts somebody it's, else. Yeah, we just threw just saying, somebody else under the bus like a piece of <laughs> shit. No, but, so, <laughs> I just chose this question because I want you to explain yourself, Ryan, to the world. Oh, this is, is here, here is the truth. He's, he's got here an axe to grind. <laughs> What is it about meetings that you hate so much? And by the way, we have more of this argument on Making Watcher coming out soon, which is only available yeah. for Patreon. I feel like every minute in a meeting could be spent uh, elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Most meetings, I also think, could be emails. Well, sure. Hmm. Some not, though, you know? Some you gotta Some really not. Some you gotta talk through creative, sure. Yeah. Yeah. This one comes from Patreon. From show. Who is most likely not to take a shower for a week? I'm actually racking my brain over this I'm one. racking yeah, my I brain. Oh, you know what? I know. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> hey! It's definitely, definitely me. Definitely Mr. Steven. Well, because you've gone on record saying that you don't smell. Exactly. It's Which weird. you must. It's a weird you, thing. You truly must. Do you tend to take a shower every day, every other day? What do you do? So I either take lots of showers or none at all. Interesting. That's insane. <laughs> That's so gross. Everybody has their own scent. They just don't know it because it's their own sense. It's, it's a... But when you smell as good as me, you don't want to wash that away. So cocky. So cocky about uh, knowing that you think you smell good. The truthful answer actually is because I probably, usually I'm just so busy I forget. You forget to shower. I, I don't get as bad, bad BO as most people though. Well, that's baloney. All right, this one comes from Christina Weber. Who's most likely to go undercover as a Stan account? I am locked in. Me too. Uh, I'm um, not sure. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no explanation needed. I say that because you love data and collecting uh, information. And I feel like if you wanted feedback about the company, mm. you would go deep undercover in an authentic way. He also does mention burner accounts. He he mentions burner accounts yeah, all the time. That's why. Yeah. And I think you you also are easiest to get a rise out of when it comes to social media. I'm crazy enough that I think I would do it. I think Ryan is too lazy to do this. Oh, absolutely. And I think Shane yeah. just would just say on his regular account. Yeah. Next question. This one comes from Courtney Ann. Who is most likely to laugh at the wrong moment? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. Hey. Wow, we're really oh, nailing this it is today. Good. Why is it Ryan? Because he does that all the time. <laughs> I do it, I do it all the time. <laughs> I find almost everything pretty funny, especially when there is a an ample amount of tension in the room. Cracks me up. This one comes from A G Calcium. Who is most likely to learn tap dancing or just take up an unconventional hobby first? Uh, oh, that's awesome. Hmm. Three, two, one. I guess it's, it's it's weird because tap dancing is something that Shane and I had actually talked about doing on the outside just because yeah, we, we wanted did. to to do it and not even film it. Like we just yeah, this was apropos wanted. of nothing. One of us had mentioned it, and both of us were like, <laughs> independently, It'd be fun to learn know how to tap dance. Just bust that out at a party. I mean, for the record, I think that would make a great series if it's that that was the sole focus of the entire series. <laughs> where dancing. by the end of it, it's just like we rent a theater and it's the most impressive tap dancing spectacular you've ever seen. They were like a regular Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. Yeah. But I will say if that's weird hobbies though, Shane, you probably have more weird hobbies than mine. I think mine yeah. are more in the basic realm, like basketball, video yeah, games. Yeah, I think that's why I, and I, I wouldn't even necessarily call them hobbies, but I do tend to get like uh, tripped up like reading about stuff, which you do too, but yeah. yeah. Next question comes from Alf Stewart 147 and Alf says, who is most likely to do that thing where two people are walking towards each other and you go one way, then they go the same way. And you think, hmm, I'll go the other way. Then they do. And perpetually continuing this awkward dance forever. Hmm. Oh, this is just tough. All right, you guys locked in? Yeah. yeah. All right, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Wait, Ryan. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. 
What? We all have somebody we've different. We've all got a different person. Huh. I'll say that I normally would have put myself under this because I have, there was a period of my life where that seemed to happen almost every day. But at one point I learned the hack for that, which is that if you're approaching someone and you feel like it's even gonna happen, the only time it happens is when you like look at the person and you're both, all you have to do is actively look at the direction you're going to take, do not acknowledge them and just I go see. for it. Uh, and like 99 times out of 100, it just removes that entire uh, problem from your life. It's great. Yeah, I put Steven because I used to think I had the mantle of most awkward human on earth. And then I met Steven Lim. Yeah. yeah. I think he may be one of the few humans that's more awkward than I am. Though, to be fair, this actually did just happen to me. I was I was running and there was a bike approaching me. The biker saw me, the cyclist saw my, my eyes and we kind of did that thing. And yeah, she kind of ran me over. And uh, also in true Ryan fashion, she ran me over and I said, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it probably was your fault. I don't know, I was trying to get to the right. Uh. I feel like it wouldn't happen to me because, I, I don't know, I just, it doesn't happen to me. I mean, do you avoid yeah, on, eye contact know. in general? Because I think that's where it happens. Yeah. When you're, that's a good point. That's you good, hear good that Zay Malik and Harry Styles commit to One Direction, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's from Hosea Patrick. Who's more likely to disappear without a trace for days and come back pretending nothing happened? Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Though I also think that would really happen, ARG or not. Yeah, that's true. That was fun, because we we nailed a few of them with some unanimous yeah. decisions. And we also had a nice uh, couple of them where it was pretty spread, which was interesting. Yeah, that's true. Always fun to hear people's uh, input on things like that. Well, that's been a riveting episode of Watcher Weekly. As always, if you'd like to submit questions for future episodes, we are Watcher, we are Watcher, we are Watcher, patreon.com slash Watcher, youtube.com slash Watcher, uh, facebook.com slash Watcher Entertainment, youtube.com slash Watcher Podcast. I don't know. I'm just saying them all. Who gives a shit? C-Tab, whatever. See you next week, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>